And for us, it was there for the taking because it was kind of a district that was left for dead. It was seen to be a mature, you know, tired district. But coming from that gold standard background, understanding permitting within the U.S., we've really tried to maximize everything we're doing on private ground. So from a permitting standpoint, you know, one of the one of the challenges that we face or any company in the U.S. faces is, is, is can you permit this? You know, if you're a single asset company like us, that's that's reliant on capital markets to live. You know, if you're going to take three years to five years to permit something, that's tough. You know, whereas if you're Barrick or Newmont or Agnico, Kinross, and you're permitting two or three things and maybe it takes an extra year or two, it doesn't matter because it's not necessarily material. Whereas for us, telling the market that it's going to take five to seven years, <laughs> that's a really tough business model. But whereas private ground is typically a one to two year process,